coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unlimited. Gone West way too soon, Lieutenant Colonel Dick Rutan. Icon Aircraft reports existence of stalking horse bitter. SpaceX details extravehicular activity suit. Welcome to Airborne Unlimited. I'm your host, Holland Lee. Let's get into today's stories. Gone West Way Too Soon, Lieutenant Colonel Dick Rutan. A friend of the family reported that retired Lieutenant Colonel Richard Glenn Rutan flew west on Friday, May 3rd. The last time Dick Rutan flew toward the western horizon was on December 14, 1986, when he and co-pilot Gina Yeager set the last great aviation record by flying around the world nonstop and unrefueled in nine days, three minutes, and 44 seconds in an aircraft called Voyager, designed by Burt Rutan. A highly decorated Vietnam veteran, Dick Rutan flew 325 combat missions and was awarded the Silver Star, the Purple Heart, the Air Medal with three Silver Oak Leaf Clusters, the Collier Trophy, and was also awarded the Distinguished Flying Cross twice. In Vietnam, Dick was a member of an elite group of fast-forward air controllers, often loitering over enemy anti-aircraft positions for six hours or more in a single sortie. These extremely hazardous missions had the call sign MISTY. Dick Rutan was and forever will be MISTY 40. He spent his last day in the company of friends and family, including his brother Bert and passed away peacefully at Kootenai Health Hospital in Coeur d'Alene, Idaho, in the company of his loving wife of 25 years, Chris Rutan. He is survived by daughters Holly Hogan and Jill Hoffman, and his four grandchildren, Jack, Sean, Noel, and Haley. And after the break, Embraer delivers 1800th E-Jet. Hello, pilot. I'm John King. And I'm Martha King. You know, we've all had our flying lives disrupted lately. Well, King Schools is here to help you stay up to date with courses that you can access on your desktop, iPad, or iPhone. If you'd like a refresher or just want to expand your aviation horizons, we have a course for you. So head over to kingschools.com slant rusty today for details. Welcome back. Now let's take a trip around the patch for some shorter stories. Embraer delivers 1800th E-Jet. Embraer is staking a claim on a new delivery milestone for their small narrow-body aircraft program, the delivery of the 1800th E-Jet production aircraft. The new Azora-owned E-190E2 was handed over to Royal Jordanian Airlines recently at Embraer's facility in São José dos Campos, Brazil. The delivery is the third E-2 for the airline, which currently also operates four first-generation E-Jets. RJ will receive a total of eight E-2s under the existing deal. Uncle Sam sues to seize $1.55 million aircraft landing gear. Sanctions against Russia continue to be waged when evidence supports a violation. A case in point, the Justice Department recently filed a forfeiture complaint against a set of aircraft landing gear for a Boeing 737-800 that was detained in September 2023 at Miami International Airport by U.S. Customs and Border Patrol. The gear was purchased for the benefit of a Kyrgyz Republic-based transshipper of dual-use items servicing the Russian Federation in violation of U.S. economic sanctions. Embraer Agplane begins testing sprayer system in home market. 
Embraer's agricultural aircraft has started testing Copart's new sprayer system in Brazil, continuing the firm's efforts to refine their long-running workhorse for the next generation. Working with Embraer, Copart wants to develop a regiment that will assess the overall efficacy of sprays, creating a methodology to evaluate a whole host of aspects surrounding sprayer design and utilization. In everything from the quantity of agent on target to the effective spread and efficacy of a drop, Coppert is breaking down the process piece by piece to figure out the very best way to spray a field. Techstar Aviation Expands Parts Footprint Another 180,000 square feet of storage space has opened up in Textron's hands after the grand opening of the company's biggest distribution facility in Wichita, Kansas. The company now has even deeper pockets to draw on when keeping its Beechcraft, Cessna, and Hawker lines going around the world, helping to sustain their mobile service units and 24-7 one-call AOG support line. It's a daunting task to keep up with the better part of a century's worth of aircraft parts, particularly with so many legacy brands in the company's catalog. Well, that's it for today's trip around the patch. Let's get back to the rest of the news. Icon Aircraft reports existence of stocking horse bidder. As we understand it, a stocking horse bidder is the initial bid on a bankrupt company's assets from an interested buyer, chosen by the bankrupt company. The proposed stocking horse bidder, SG Investment America Inc., has been designated to, quote, set the floor price for the sale of Icon's assets, end quote. Icon claims that this step is aimed at maximizing value for the company's stakeholders and facilitating a smooth transition through the bankruptcy process. Jerry Mayer, CEO of Icon Aircraft, said, quote, The decision to designate a stocking horse bidder underscores our commitment to ensuring the long-term viability of our business. We believe that this proactive approach will help employees, partners, and customers have confidence in our ongoing operations, enabling the company to achieve the best possible outcome, end quote. Icon Aircraft has disappointed thousands with wild claims of great new aircraft to be offered at fair prices and at rates that would have put thousands of these aircraft into buyers' hands. But that was all for naught. Instead, the company gained a deserved rep for playing fast and loose with facts, deadlines, and their bizarre dealings with some media who attempted to tell the truth. To say that the whole program was a blistering disappointment is an understatement. After these messages, SpaceX details EVA suit. For over 30 years, the Massive Sport Plane Resource Guide has provided expert, credible information, evaluations, and critical analysis of all that the sport aviation world has to offer. The all-new Digital Sport Plane Resource Guide is coming with extensive multimedia features that are constantly updated, and even more comprehensive online guide to all things sport aviation. Available soon. www.sportplane.com Flying is my entire life. It's all that I've ever known. I've relied on Hartzell propellers since about 1995. Hartzell means much more than a propeller. It's a relationship. When you hear the phrase, built on honor, they care about us as pilots, they care about our community, and they care about the product they build. It's such a proud honor to fly behind that propeller. Welcome back. SpaceX details extravehicular activity suit. In and among all the drama surrounding the latest rockets and associated programs, there are a million little details that need to be resolved. Details like spacesuits capable of conducting an EVA. In February 2022, Jared Isaacman and SpaceX announced the Polaris program, an effort designed to rapidly advance human spaceflight capabilities while also supporting important causes here on Earth. Polaris Dawn, the first of the program's three human spaceflight missions, is targeted to launch to orbit no earlier than summer 2024. During the five-day mission, the crew will perform SpaceX's first-ever extravehicular activity, or more commonly known as EVA or spacewalk, from Dragon, which will also be the first-ever commercial astronaut spacewalk. Supporting the crew throughout the spacewalk will be SpaceX's newly developed EVA suit, an evolution of the intravehicular activity suits crews currently wear aboard Dragon human spaceflight missions. Developed with mobility in mind, SpaceX teams incorporated new materials, fabrication processes, and novel joint designs to provide greater flexibility to astronauts in pressurized scenarios while retaining comfort for unpressurized scenarios. 
The 3D printed helmet incorporates a new visor to reduce glare during the EVA, in addition to the new heads-up display and camera that provide information on the suit's pressure, temperature, and relative humidity. That's our show for today. You can catch episodes of Airborne on YouTube, Roku, or Fire TV. Just search for Aero News or Airborne, and don't forget to follow us on social media. Thanks for watching.